My motto today is, when in doubt, pop that booty out. That's right, as uh, And I'm kind of going to be uh, in, in doubt for much of it, yeah. so you you're going to get a lot of my butt. Hello, and what's up, you beautiful nerds? I'm Devin. Y'all should know that. And welcome to another edition of a video. That's right, on this channel. This week, we are flying by the seat. Whoa of our pants and making it up as we go. So originally I had not planned on doing like a choreography video just because I think that there are so many experts when it comes to pole choreography out there. I'm gonna put them in the description box below, don't you worry, girl. So I've been like kind of straying away from teaching because I'm in a process of being the student myself. But after I did the video with the Try Guys, I just got a lot of comments about the choreography, the song, and the shorts that Ned was wearing. First and foremost, the shorts are mine. We were having a little bit of bottom issues uh, and the costume department. So I let Ned borrow my own full shorts. And honestly, I'm a little mad they look better on them than they do on me. <laughs> Ned was wearing normal like boxers originally, I forget, or like shorty short pants. And it just, it just wasn't giving him that oomph that he needed, you know, the oomph with the, mm, you know what I'm talking about, those thigh harnesses, they provide, sister, provide. I think we can all agree that Ned's ass looks better. He's a soccer player though, you know? Fuck that, I work out so much. Can I just say I work out so I work out so much, you guys. Before we even get started, like, we're gonna go there. Let's just go there. Uh, I just wanna say, I have fat. I'm the biggest I've ever been at this point. Anyways, love yourself, love your fat. This is a body neutral space. Your body is meant to do beautiful and incredible things. And she also sometimes shits and vomits at the same time. Have you ever had that happen? I have been seeing a lot of comments about Ned's choreography and I thought I would Answer the call. No, I didn't call for y'all. Anyways, this month on my channel, we're Devin But Better is on the run. We are not from the law. Although, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, ow. So I thought I would answer the call and share a choreography video um, for those who are interested and for those who want to try it at home. This choreography that I created for the Try Guys is meant to do with a pole. I can probably modify it to do it without a pole if that's something y'all are interested in. But I thought I'd just like share a little bit of what I shared with Ned. You know, y'all seemed curious, so. I was gonna shoot this video like full on Jane Fonda style. Like, uh, well, not with the lapel mic, but I had like camera bag and all my equipment and shit. I brought it to the studio. I booked the studio for three hours this morning. And then I got there and I realized I forgot my SD cards. These bad boys, which were um, right here where they usually live. Anyway, let's hop into it. So first things first, before you do any movement on any apparatus, a pole, a hula hoop thing, chains, I don't know what y'all are doing out there. Keep it freaky, keep it wild. Here I am working out. I like to do a lot of HIIT workouts before I hit the pole. So I do like a full 30 minutes of HIIT workouts beforehand, but not everyone needs to do that. And if you just wanna try the routine that I taught Ned, here's a little warm up. I'm just gonna lead you through that warms you up with your body and also with your mind because we're stepping into a vibe here, folks. This was Nasty Ned's choreography and you have to like not only do the moves, but you have to encompass a mindset. And I'm actually being for real here. If there's a movement that I'm about to introduce that you're like, eek, nah, bitch, that's totally fine. Find a modification, we'll get creative. And tell me about it in the comments below and I'll try my best to respond. All right, so here we go. Okay, so you're gonna wanna start off with some simple cat cows. We like to get some mobility in the spine, especially with pole dancing, because there's a lot of like body waves and gyrations. Um, so it's really important to warm the spine up and I do it very slowly and with the breath. You really wanna take your time and kind of come from the place of creating a slow burn rather than taking it to a cardio place. And then eventually, let's lift your knees, let's do it. Keeping your hips in the same line, maybe find a little gyrations, feel the burn in your belly, that's important. And then, you know, you can push up to a stretch, come into a plank. Let me just point out really fast, when it comes to like the transitions, of the movement, I'm taking it really slow because that's what's actually building strength. Okay, yeah, shake it out. If you're a little soft on your knees or if your knees are a little sensitive, put a pillow underneath your ass. Truly, one of the best cures uh, humans have ever in invented, uh, just pillows. You know what, my ass could use 
why not? Pillows are great. Yeah, so then once you're on your knees and you're feeling comfy, start to introduce a little bit more of those like body rolls. Then isolate that for a second just to feel what it's like to live here. And then let it grow out all the way around this way and that. Then you're gonna get on your back and find some hip thrust with a little bit of a body roll. You should feel a burn in your um, your pussy muscles. You know what I mean? Like your abs, your lower abs, your, uh, your pelvic floor muscles. That's what I meant to say. And then you're gonna drop that, drop the body wave. You're gonna create some space in between your knees, making sure that your ankles are underneath your knees so that your joints are aligned. And then you're gonna find little circles. It's hovering circles all the way around in both directions. And again, I can't stress this enough. It looks like in the video that I might be like really enjoying myself. That's because I am, you know? And I'm finding pleasure in my body because that's allowed. It's allowed and it doesn't have to belong to anyone. So that's kind of like what I empowered Ned to do. So yeah, I'm doing some abs like this, making sure that I have uh, my shoulders lifted off the ground. This is all very optional. These are just the ab exercises that I do. Um, I'm kind of rushing through the warm up because I figured that's not why we're here, but I just really want to show like at least a sped up version of what I do. If this is something that interests you, let me know and I'll make another one of these videos. Um, but I think it's really important to really warm your body up before you try choreography, especially if it's new, because you might hurt yourself. I, I know I do. Let's pause the video real quick because I'm hungry. Nothing reminds me of the gaping void that is my appetite like a good dance tutorial. Thankfully, I've got Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Green Chef's expert chefs design flavorful recipes for your lifestyle that go way beyond ordinary substitutions. Green Chef also offers contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking. They offer nine recipes to choose from weekly within every meal plan, which makes it really easy to create new dishes that you like to cook for yourself. I, for an example, made two dishes at once one evening just so I could meal prep for the week. I, I was so hungry and the food was so good. I forgot I forgot to vlog us eating it, but here, here's the rest of the soup. It was such a good soup. Good and you don't even like coconut. This is a good coconut soup. It was. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go to greenchef.us backslash Devon100 and use code Devon100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. Thank you to Green Chef for making sure that we don't starve this week. Okay, now back to these cheeks. Okay, so first things first, when you walk around the pole, you really wanna make sure that your hips are the point of your body that are reaching out and not your shoulders, cause that's gonna hurt your shoulder joint. You wanna create like a crescent moon shape with your body. Let the hips drive the movement. If there's one thing that I've been saying my entire life, it's let the hips in the ass speak for herself, okay? All right, I'll show you the routine first of how I dance and then I'll break it down for you. So obviously that had a lot of um, my own artistic flair. So let me just break it down in kind of a more clean, straightforward way. I'm gonna lift my inside knee all the way up. And then as I do, you'll notice that I put my weight outside so that when I pull my hips in to get my, that little ass bump, 
It's kind of like an accent. It's like a, hey, pay attention to me. Yo, you, here's what it looks like from behind. So then I reach my inside leg across my body because that gives me a lot of motion. I'm gonna wrap my inside leg around the pole behind my knee joint, and then I'm gonna cross my non-dominant hand across my chest and grab the pole. I'm then gonna push off like one might push off from a scooter, and then we come around the pole. Because you can take this trick all the way down to your knees, if you so please. But I'm going to let this leg bend and then swing out in front of me to kind of mark where I'm going to land. Warning, when you use your extremities to like whip out, you're literally dictating how fast you're gonna spin. So if I do this fast, I'm gonna spin around the pole super fast. You're like a young vampire. You don't know your strength yet. From there, we're gonna go into our pole spins. Now, pole spins are tricky because they involve spinning around yourself and a pole, and it's not like you have a partner to kind of guide you and lead you where you need to go, right? You're, you're doing it based off of your own wrist mobility. First things first, you're gonna take your dominant hand to the pole, and you're going to position your hand like so. Your non-dominant hand is gonna come down like this. And then I'm going to turn underneath my arm. I'm gonna go in towards the pole and then underneath my arm, facing out, I grab the pole with my non-dominant hand behind me, grab, and then I push my body weight, push the pole away from me, like that. That creates that little space in between your ass and your hips and the pole, and it makes it it makes the movement look like she's floating, you're floating. You can do these pole spins in a couple ways. If you're feeling confident, you can lift your feet off the ground, putting your full body weight, like pushing yourself forward, right? Remember, your bottom hand is pushing against the pole and you're leaning out. So that's gonna create that floating, spinning motion around the pole. Or if you're like Devin, I'm new to this. That's fine too. You can just do pole spins, keeping your feet on the ground until you face the front or your audience or whoever you're doing this for. You're gonna find your footing. Take your time to find your footing. You want your knees to be comfy. You never really wanna just rush into a move. I know sometimes the spirit strikes, especially when you're dancing to a song that you like, but take your time to place your footwork. And like, if you were to be performing this, say for your partner, they're gonna watch no matter what. You have their attention, ma'am. So just like, take your time. And then I'm gonna thread my non-dominant leg in between my dominant leg and the pole. And then with my non-dominant hand, I'm gonna reach out to the floor and catch myself. Ha ha, we did it. Then you're just gonna have, you're gonna prance it out. You're, gonna, you're just gonna prance it out, reaching around with that top leg. Really get your hips involved. It's not really interesting if you just let your leg you know, swim around. You gotta get your whole hips, your abs involved, and that's where the workout's from. Okay, so then from there, you're gonna let your top leg swing around and then drop right in your eye line. So from here, you have a couple options. If you're new, you can just let that leg sweep all the way behind you, like you're like a ticking time bomb. And then bend your knees when your knees kiss. And then you're gonna lift your pelvis off the ground and push your ass back. That's called a cat pounce. You're literally like a cat pouncing your ass off the ground. So that hip, that movement is just like a hip lift because you're literally lifting your hips and pelvis off the floor first. So you wanna engage your core, press your belly button into your spine, and that's the motion that's gonna yeah, you know what I mean? So if you need to pause the video and try that out for yourself, I mean, I'll be here. I'm here all the time because this is a recording and the internet is forever. But say you wanted to do this sweet little get up with my leg that I did. You're gonna sweep your top leg around you, bend your knee and use that motion to lift your body, pushing yourself off the ground. You see what I mean? And you can do that twice, once, however many times feels good. Take your time learning this. This is a lot of shoulder and bicep work. So take your time, build the strength, and then on the second time that you do that, you're gonna let the leg that is closest to the audience bend and come in front, like that. This is called the stripper's push-up. You can bend your knee, which I feel like accents your ass. And then when you're done with this, you can extend your opposite leg. And then we're gonna move into the next bit, which is walking our hands in front of our body and letting that opposite leg swoop around 
using it as momentum, swooping around and coming onto our hands and knees in the opposite direction. Wow, we're here now. So at the end of Ned's choreography, I encourage Ned to start to freestyle. We are following the language of our own bodies of what feels good. At least that's what I believe that what we're doing here. And so I told him to just stay in the vibe stay with the music and see what comes out of your body. So here's some examples of things that I like to do. I like to have a little top energy. Sometimes I like to get into my feelings a bit. Sometimes I get a little nasty. It's just really up to you. A word about the video. This is how the choreography was when I made it. They had some beautiful snazzy editing and we had gorgeous lighting, which of course made the choreography look what I'm showing you and what you might try at home may not feel as flashy or beautiful, but I promise it is. The more and more you try the routine to get it into your body, the more it works itself into your muscle memory and it'll become like second nature. Here's some videos of me trying it with my heels on. A lot of y'all ask me how I managed to walk in heels and not twist my ankles, and the answer I have for that is um, I do twist my I do fall like a lot like a lot a lot um, and then sometimes I just like feel really awkward on the pole but that's okay in my mind I'm using the studio time to kind of feel like a kid again sometimes that's cool and sometimes I look feel like a ninja and like a sexy power ranger on the pole um, and other times I <laughs> I, I look like a deer in the headlights. Like I said, in the month of August, Devin But Better is kind of on the road. So this video is a little sillier, it's a little stupider. Let me know in the comments below if there's something that I missed or you need a little bit more explanation. And let me know if you're actually trying this with yourself at home. If you are trying this at home and you don't have a pole, just skip to all the pole stuff. Put yourself against a wall and wall slide down and just start from the floor movement because that's still pretty fun. All right, my internet homies, thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next week.